Hi right, everyone, can you say hi? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, so tomorrow we're flying from Florida to Minnesota for a few reasons. Florida is kind of the new outbreak center. It's like gonna be like New York maybe, I don't know. I think just in this state alone there's, if the numbers are correct, if, that there's more cases in Florida than in China. So we're gonna go to Minnesota and uh, get out of here. And also my parents are, are building a kind of like a little cabin up there in Minnesota. They're retired now, so it's kind of like their little dream cabin up in my mom's hometown. I'm gonna go back and be with family. But the problem is, oh I know, the problem is it's not done yet, so. Oh, 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 oh. But we still gotta go back, we wanna get away from all this stuff down here. So we're trying to take extra precautions. All we have right now are these little kids masks. I don't know, we're gonna get some better masks and some wipes to clean off the seats. We can't be too careful. No two people can sit next to each other. So there's three seats, but the middle one, there's, there's no people. So obviously the big concern is him. He's moving around a lot and walking. So we specifically booked the ticket at noon, which is his nap time, and it's about a three hour flight, so hopefully he's just sleeping the whole time. That's the goal. Let's go see what they have and <laughs> what the prices are. Hopefully they're not price gouging right now. Should be okay. What do you think? Should we go check it out? Okay, let's go. Here we go. Wow, $16 for 20 masks. You, may ban 35 for 50. That's wild. This one's some kind of a special one, $20 for one. Well, no choice, I guess. We're going with these. And we gotta get some wipes. Need to get two of these. So we can wipe off the the handles and stuff from the airplane and antibacterial hand wipes. So these are gonna be really important. We already have some hand sanitizer like this. We bought a bottle already, but we gotta keep you safe, buddy. So I know you're gonna grab every single thing you see. I think this should be okay. So about $20 for this. You're priceless, so. We'll buy anything. Keep you safe. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> also gonna get some little strawberry apple puffs. He loves these things. Um, helps keep them under control on the plane, doesn't it? If you yeah. just eat those all day, you'll be happy. Hopefully you'll sleep the whole time. Three hour flight, can you sleep three hours tomorrow? I think you can. Off, off. Off, off, okay. Okay. <laughs> Everybody, sorry, been a crazy, crazy morning. Got up, had a bunch of cleaning to do and laundry. Um, but we're in the taxi. We're on the way to the airport. Uh, I read yesterday was a new daily record for Florida, 5,000 cases in one day. So it's good that we're getting out, heading back to Minnesota where cases are declining. Of course, again, the problem is got no house to go back to yet. It's not quite finished. Um, so we'll be staying with friends. I think we got everything. We got all of our luggage here in the back. We got Xiao Mai in the car seat. He's watching his little TV program. He was crying like crazy. I think he was sad to leave, but we gotta go, time to go. So we got our masks, we got our wipes. Hopefully everything is safe at the airport. I'll let you know when we get there and uh, see what the airlines are doing. As the pandemic worsens here, oh no, he's crying again. See how they're trying to keep everybody safe. Hope it's good. Expect the worst, hope for the best. Made it to the airport. Army people back there, I guess. I don't know what they're doing. We checked in. Everybody's wearing masks, which is good. Of course, it's mandatory. However, 
found out they sold out the whole flight, so the middle seats are not being left empty. So we're gonna be sitting next to people. I assumed incorrectly that they were only gonna have uh, maybe a two-thirds full flight. Not super excited about that, but it is what it is. Um, just have to use more wipes, be more careful around people, and just get in the seat and don't go anywhere for the whole flight. It's probably about a three-hour flight. Hopefully little Michael, he just falls asleep right away. I guess I thought there was a, a law saying maybe they can only do two-thirds full or they had to block out the middle seats, but not good, not good. <sighs> okay, we're boarding now. I had to get some seats changed around. Right now there's somebody between us, so I gotta go talk to them to see if they wanna take the window or take the aisle seat. Oh, it's been a pretty stressful morning. Okay, so we made it on the plane. There were no temperature checks. This guy does not look tired. <laughs> he gets tired soon. I bit disappointed at the lack of temperature checks and the fact that I couldn't buy the middle seats, but then somehow they just sold out. I guess everybody wants to leave. Uh -oh. He just dropped his water. Alright, I gotta take care of him. Reset. Well, my plan worked about halfway. He's left about an hour and a half. He's going to look crazy now, aren't you? Oh. He refuses to wear a mask. They bounce out. Someone told me one and a half year old kids on the plane is the most difficult. And I think I agree. They can walk, talk, and yell. They don't really fully understand or obey you. That makes it really hard. He just wants to go everywhere. Don't bother them, buddy. I am that parent on the airplane who has the crazy, out of control kid now. That's me. And you can see he scratched me right here, little butthead. As a friendly reminder, we request that you continue to wear your mask or face coverings for the duration of the flight. Thank you so much. Almost there. We made it, buddy. What do you think? Okay, where's the car? Where's the car? Where's the car? What is that? Okay, everyone, so we got our rental car here. We're at the hotel. Little Michael's getting ready for bed. It's been a pretty, pretty long, stressful day. Pretty disappointed at the, the airline we were on. It was a discount airline called Sun Country, but they just they didn't take any temperatures. I thought they were gonna have those middle seats empty. So I, I don't know, I'm a bit conflicted right now because other airlines like Southwest, they were taking temperatures for everybody and they weren't allowing their workers to touch any of the tickets. The passengers had to scan it for themselves. So I don't know, I guess it was not what I was expecting in a bad way. But the good news is little Michael did pretty well. We didn't move out of our spots the whole time. We just got in our seats and wiped everything down. Wipe the trays, wipe the windows, wipe the armrest. He's at the age now where he's touching everything. The only rule was we just had to wear the mask for the whole flight. That was that was literally the only rule. And they had no food or drink, which is fine. It was a three hour flight. We brought food and water, so I don't know. It's uh it was it wasn't good. I think we'll be fine. We're in Minnesota now. One of the states where the rate of infection is actually decreasing. I think there's like 22 states where it's increasing a lot, especially in the south. Arizona, Texas, Florida. Doesn't look good at the moment. Hey buddy, don't throw that on the ground. Some airlines taking it very seriously, others are obviously not. My wife made the point that they're just trying to save money, but I mean, it's, it's a very simple thing to do to take the temperature of the people coming on and not touch their tickets, you know, just simple little things like that really wouldn't cost an airline any money at all. Just have to buy some thermometers. I guess each company just has different principles. So either you take it seriously or you don't. It's crazy, we had to walk with our bags so far to get to the car rental place and they're, they're not letting people use the hand carts at the airport, so we had to pull them and we have all of our stuff with, it was like four or five bags, plus him. Ugh, sweat so much. Getting ready for bed, huh buddy? Gonna get some rest, we're tired. All right, buddy, you say bye? <coughs> bye. Okay, we love you guys, and we'll try to stay safe. Watch your Michael Lasher, shots at Zai Jian.